Hey, Sneaky Lurks back again. Again. For today, yeah. I've been on a roll today. But a lot of you, like me, will have quite a few raspberry... Actually, I have a lot of raspberry pies. I don't know how many you have, but most of you will have a, at least one, I think, maybe. Might be an A, B, 3, 1, 2, 3, or even a 0. Okay. Well, I counted mine up the other day. I know what about. Oh, yeah. I've got in front of me, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I've got 6 of the larger ones, and I've got 6 zeros. Okay. I'm just greedy. Okay. Uh, that's just me. I know. So, anyway. The other uh, few weeks ago, should I say, there's a bit of an update from Raspbian. We had the Pixel update. Now, Pixel is a new desktop environment as such, and it's still experimental, by the way. It's not proper. Or is it? I don't know. Who knows? But they're still working on it. And it basically makes Raspbian, which we use on Ras Raspberry Pi, look a bit more modern and a bit more fluid and a nicer to use. Although I don't mind the original one, personally. But then again, I'm old. So, you know, that's just me. So the guys there should have said, um, well, if we can make it for the Pi, why can't we make it for older PCs? And so, in the box, I've got it here running for you. You can download it, no problem. There is a problem, but I'll come to that a little bit later. So here is Pixel running in VirtualBox. Now, I'm sorry I can't do it full screen, but because my screen is so large, and I have a very new graphics card, it don't want to play in the box. But on real hardware, which I have tried, it works perfectly, no problemo. Okay, so there's a little run round of Pixel for you, and it's nothing to do with the Google phone or nothing like that. Don't worry about that. It's just to not even go in there. Okay, so this is what we have in the Raspberry Pi. This is if we use it as a desktop. This is what you have. It's great. I mean, I love using it. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes when I'm just using my desktop, I know it's so many bloody cores and everything. Sometimes I just go, oh, you know what? I'm just going to plug the Pi in tonight and do it on the Pi. Because I'm just watching videos for one night, I'm just doing certain stuff or doing emails. There's no reason to use a large, large desktop. I might as well just use a small form factor PC and get it all done. Okay. So anyway, enough of my rambling and I'll show you a little bit what we got. Now, <clears throat> I go to the menu. Under programming, we've got all the Java stuff. Programmator, Python 2, Python 3, Scratch, which I use for my little kids at Code Club. And at home... And whenever kids come around, they want to play with it. There's a Sense Hat emulator. I'm going to explain it to you. You can look into that yourself. Bear in mind, the download is not too large. Okay, you can go and play with it yourself. And we have Sonic Pi 2. What do you mean you've never had a Sonic Pi? You go out and play with that. It's unbelievably fantastic. I even bought the books, which I've not got halfway through. I know. But I did give one surprise to one of my little students before the end of term. And he was quite happy. He thinks. He's not sure yet. Okay. Anyway, that's what we get in programming. The reason all this is in programming is because the Raspberry Pi is made for programming stuff, isn't it, really? And making IoT stuff or whatever you want to make. It's unbelievable what you can do with it. Put your mind to it. You can do stuff. Okay. But also, under Office, we have the full LibreOffice suite. So, in actual fact, you can use it as a proper desktop. So, if I go into LibreOffice Writer, I have a little drinkage while I'm here. And I know it's water again. Yeah, I'm still on the old wagon. <sighs> And here we go. The full LibreOffice suite. You can do with stuff here. No problem. Yes, you can import Microsoft stuff. It does work. Sometimes not. But hey, if you're just writing, don't worry about it. Anyway, get away from Office. And Internet. You've got Chromium. It's your web browser. Yes, Chromium. Claws Mail. Raspberry Pi resources. If you're not into Pies, don't worry. And the Magpie stuff. Now, I'm subscribed to this magazine. It's a magazine that's for Raspberry Pi stuff. Magpie. And it's all for maker stuff. If, if you're into making, you might want to have a look. Shall I just click on it and we'll have a look in this little box here? I'm not used to it on little boxes anymore. No. No. no I don't want to change that. Go away. And this is a Magpie magazine. Okay. You learn how to do stuff. And I've actually made quite a few of these projects that they've done here. If you can have a look at the website, you'll think it's really fantastic, and I do anyway. But we're getting away from what we're supposed to do here, aren't we? So we'll go back to what we're doing. Okay. Anyway, under games, you get Python games. They're all old school games. I'm not going to open them now because I'll end up playing them and the video will be so long and we don't want to do that, do we? Not really, no. Okay. Under accessories, you get the usual stuff. Remember, it's LXDE at the end of the day. It's, it's Debian LXDE 
for Raspberry Pi. But it's just made on stuff. You know? Right, this is the bit I was going to tell you about. Before I go down all these, I'll go have a calculator and file manager. Can I open the, open the file manager up? Okay. At the moment, you cannot install it to a hard drive. You can get it onto a DVD, stroke CD, or put it on a USB and use it that way. Now, if you use it on a CD stroke DVD, you can't save anything. There's no persistence as, as such. But if you've got a large USB, say 8 to 16 gig, you can actually carry on and save stuff and add extra programs, which I'll show you in a moment, even though I can't actually save it on here because we're in the virtual boxy scene. You know what I'm saying? Of course you know what I'm saying. Okay, so we're going down. Blank accessories. Oh, okay, sorry. Image viewer. It's a PDF viewer, so it's everything you need. SD card copier. Now, in ordinary Linux, we'd use, well, I use GNOME disks or disks. If you're into terminal, use DD. Or some people now use a new one called Etcher. If I open up for you, basically, you've got your information on here, you copy to your device. Enough said, all done. Okay. Back down we go. Preferences. Okay. Do your mouse and keyboard settings. It's all here. Your main menu is editor. All your device settings. Appearance settings. It's basic LXDE at the end of the day. How do I remove software? And you're saying, well, if it's just Raspberry and runs on a Pi, you can't do nothing with it. Well, of course you do. Of course you can. You can do it if you like. So just for instance, I'm just going to put in open shot, okay? So open shot, and I'll make sure I spell it right. I'm going to just hit enter. 55321. You can download it. Do whatever you want to do. What about something you might think it might not have if it's doing videos? Caden Live, maybe. So put that in. If you look on it, it's there. So if you've got a newer PC and you want to give it a go, remember it's 32 bit by the way, so it run on most things, no big deal. Oh dear. So Caden Live's there. What else can I think of? Out of the top of my head, um, Abbey Word will be there anyway. Um, you know what? I can't actually think of anything. Right. Yeah, my mind's gone blank. But anything you can think of that runs on Debian will be here. Okay? Anything you can think of. Oh, what about um, Clementine? Okay. I know this is here for a fact because I've run it on one of my pies. Okay. There we go. Oh, I've always spelt it wrong. Oh, yes, I have. Look at that. Why put it in there? Okay, we'll do it properly, shall we? Lemon time. And there we are. My one of my well, it is the one I use mainly on most of my stuff. I do use G Music Browser sometimes, but Clement Time is my music player of choice. So it's all here for you. Yeah, all here. So you know, if you want to go and give it a go, go download it. It's not a big download. You run it from a USB stick. Make sure it's rather large, and you can run it with persistence. You can save stuff. Watch your videos. Yes, it does. Watch uh, HDMI five. It has got a flat. Oh, so I didn't actually open the browser for you, did I? Yes, we can watch. Uh, it has got a flash. So if you want to go to Scratch two, okay. So if we go to Scratch before when we was using uh, a Raspberry Pi, we couldn't actually go to Scratch two, okay. We couldn't use the online one. We have to use the old-fashioned one. But now we can use this. So if we click on try it out. I mean, just click on it. I'm sorry, right click on it, run this plugin because it doesn't it, make sure here that you don't do that stuff. So, look, you can run Scratch from MIT online, no problemo. Lovely. So, yeah, Pixel via Raspbian for the PC. All for the win. Nice, sneaky Linux. Gah. I'll see you next. Bye bye.